So this question says, given the graph of f of x equals the square root of x, which is what we have here, notice square root of one is one, square root of four is two, square root of nine is three, et cetera. We want to construct a graph of y equals negative two times f of x plus one. We want to think about our order. Uh, I'm going to choose to do f of x plus one first. So what is that going to be, right? If I'm going to do f of x plus one, that is going to be a shift in what direction? It's going to be to shift everything one unit to the left. So we're going to get that done first. I'm going to use the green dots to shift my points of interest one unit to the left. You'll notice here square root of nine is three. If I shift it one unit to the left, that lands here. So nine, three becomes eight, three. Square root of four is two. So if I shift it one unit to the left, I get here, right? Square root of four is three, shift it one unit to the left. Here I have square root of one is one. If I shift it one unit to the left, where is that gonna put me? It's gonna put me here. And then finally, I have square root of zero is zero if I shift it one unit to the left. That's going to put me here. So if I were interested in graphing the square root of x plus one, it would look like that. So we have the square root of x originally in red, and then we have the square root of x plus one that is shifted to the left. So that's the first thing that we do. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to do negative two times f of x plus one. So where are these green dots going to go? So these are our fundamental points. Negative two times the previous y value. So the previous y value here was three. If I multiply that by negative two, that would land at negative six. So here, um, f of x plus one gives me three. So negative two times f of x plus one, negative two times three puts me at negative six here. This points at two, try to, best we're going to do. If I multiply that by two, negative two times two is negative four. So this one comes down to negative four. Again, negative two times the y value, that's our stretch. This one is one, negative two times one is negative two. And then this one is zero, negative two times zero is just zero. So you can see the green dot and the black dot are both there. So the green function is f of x plus one or square root of x plus one. The black function is negative two times the square root of x plus one. That's how we would connect it. So where are our points? Negative one, zero, zero, negative two, three, negative four, eight, negative six. So let's take a look at Desmos if we can. Let's see if I can pull out Desmos. And I don't have it loaded, so I will quickly load it. So what did we start with? The original function was the square root of x. So that's what we did in red on our graph. And there it is in red. And then we did f of x plus one. So that took everything and shifted one place to the left. And that's what I did in green. So this was the graph through the green dots. And then finally, I did y is negative two times f of x plus one. And we'll do that one in black. So it matches what we did on the other screen. Now, what are our points of interest on the black graph? You can see we have negative one zero is one of the points on the black graph. See, we have zero negative two. We have three negative four. And we have eight, negative six. We have all of those points, which we can see. So negative one, zero, zero, negative two, three, negative four, eight, negative six. What did I have when I was actually moving those points? Let's take a look. I 
let's find it. Negative one, zero, check. Zero, negative two, yes. Three, negative four, and eight, negative six. So when we connect all of these points, indeed, we've got the graph that we saw on Desmos here. 